Got another question on the condensation polymers topic. As always, the link to the question is in the description of the video if you want to try it first. So, it starts with the definition. What's meant by the term condensation polymer? So, there's a couple of things we need to say here. So, the polymer bit is the fact that it's a long chain molecule that's been formed by the joining together of monomers. The condensation bit is when it joins together, there's a loss of a smaller molecule example water or HCl. Before I draw the structure of the repeat unit in Kevlar, let's have a quick look at the monomers. The names were given up there. So how are these going to join together? We're going to basically form a water molecule by taking the OH from the carboxyl group and the H from the amino group. So we'll need to lose that. Lacerate the water and that H there. Part B now, so we've got to give the empirical formula for the repeat unit of this polyamide. So we've got to identify the repeat unit first. So there it is there, so we'll just work out the molecular formula for that. C16H30O2N2, so that's obviously divisible by 2, which gives an empirical formula of C8H15ON. And for the last part, we've just got to come up with the monomers to make polyamide C. So I've highlighted the two key parts. So this bit here is going to be one monomer. I'll put it in there. There's the other one, which is going to go in there. So this yellow bit here, what could we use to make that? Well, you could use a dicarboxylic acid. You could even use a diacyl chloride. I'm going to go for the dicarboxylic acid. And for the pink one, we would use a diamine. 